good day, everyone. And it is a good day to be here. Thank you for tuning in and for setting some time aside for today's webinar. My name is Sarah Whitehead. I work for PayProp South Africa, a rental payment service platform for property practitioners. I'm responsible for managing our national sales team and initiatives. I hold a Bachelor of Commerce degree in Economics with International Trade from the Northwest University, and I have over 12 years of industry experience, including 10 of those with PayProp. I help rental agents use their time more efficiently to achieve rapid and sustainable growth. Who is this webinar for? Well, first and foremost, all property practitioners, whether you manage rentals or not. And there's value in this for landlords and tenants who also benefit from relationships with property practitioners who utilize state-of-the-art prop tech. In broad strokes, my agenda consists of calculating the return on investment of prop tech, discussing the intangible benefits to agents, landlords, and tenants, and how to maximize the advantage of PropTech. But it all starts with the why. Simon Sinek's now famous why. In Sinek's opinion, the reason Apple was so successful is because they started with why. The why is the reason behind what we do what we do, the reason we get up every morning and work. Our brand promise at PayProp is to free up real estate agents with real time to do what really matters. So I want to leave you with one question and hopefully the answer to that question after today's webinar. What does it mean to you to get more out of work and more out of life? And this is unique to every property profession every property professional, as you well know, because we are all uniquely and wonderfully different. So today I'll be sharing some of the prop tech value propositions identified by our users. Some of those might mean more to you than the person next to you, because we are all different with unique needs and wants. These are tough economic times. We must look to our individual needs and business requirements and rethink how we're spending the rands we have and the return on investment we're getting. We should be spending our money on things that have a positive impact on ourselves and our broader organizations. So remember to think about that one question. What does it mean to you to get more out of life? So what is PropTech? Why PropTech? <laughs> Simply defined, it's all the tech tools real estate experts use to optimize the way people buy, sell, research, market, and manage a property. There are multiple PropTech service providers internationally at the moment. Some of the well-known ones, Airbnb, WeWork are PropTech, Private Property is PropTech, PayProp is PropTech. Digital trans transformation in the day and age we live in is a non-negotiable. Over 60% of respondents in the third annual PayProp State of the Rental Industry Survey saw automation increase in their businesses over the course of the past year. And almost 70% believe that automation will have a positive impact on their job over the next five years. The impact of COVID-19 and the outlook for 2022 and beyond indicates that technology is no longer an optional extra. The business benefits of digital transformation make it a non-negotiable in any estate agency's day-to-day -day operations. And perhaps I can even take one step back. Why rentals? Rentals can be a stable and profitable business if done right from the start and with the right partners. Reasons to add rentals to your business offering include that it is a stable, reoccurring income. Tenants have to pay rent every month, which means that you earn commission every month. Continuity, a new rental administrator or agent, agents, won't disrupt your business. It'll only add to your offering. You have a database already. All landlords become sellers and all tenants become buyers. Referrals, broader even than that, are gold. Brand reputation is gold. And if you can do it all, why not? We have some beautiful success stories of how rental income carried agencies through lockdown while sales efforts were halted and the deeds office were closed. That re recurring income that comes in every, every month with rentals. And then if you do rentals, or if you do currently do rentals, or if you choose to expand your service offering to rentals, then why automate? Why prop tech? Many businesses worldwide are adopting process automation as a key strategy to stay ahead. 
And, you know, when they talk about automation, it usually conjures up a mental image of robots and machines replacing human resources in an organization, but nothing could be further from the truth. When we talk about automation, we talk about enabling people. This kind of um, automation simplifies human activity, it eliminates human error, and because it exponentially expedites tedious work, it saves a lot of time and actually reduces operational costs in, in, in the long run. A real estate business of any size can automate its rental payment processes and improve performance significantly. Rental processes and all other um, internal property processes. The four key benefits of automating ma property management um, business processes are that it saves you time, eliminates human errors, provides security, and because of all of the above, gives you the opportunity to grow. And that's ultimately why we are all here growth and scalability. Okay, so, but then if I'm telling you all these prop tech options out there are limitless, how do you choose? How do you know what to implement? So that is where ROI comes in, the return on investment. Now, how do I determine return on investment of prop tech? Is it a calculation? Uh, is it simple math? Well, let me lay the foundation with a few definitions, and then we can get back to actually identifying and determining what a perfect ROI is on prop tech investments for, for your real estate business. So a cost, what is a cost? A cost is an expense whose primary purpose is to continue operations under the current revenue structure. An investment, on the other hand, is an expense whose main purpose is to change the future trajectory and revenue of a firm. ROI is a financial ratio that shows the gains and losses from an investment in relation to the cost of the investment, whether it be initial or an ongoing cost. It, uh, it calculates the attractiveness, the profitability of an investment. And that is the, the point that I want to emphasize today is that PropTech isn't a cost, it is an investment that will positively impact the tra trajectory of, of your business. Author Lamine Pearlhart said, an investment is deemed an investment only through its returns. So an ROI can help you make business and investment decisions. Three metrics are used to calculate it and other important ratios. Some of those ratios are the return on investment. This will be my main focus today, but I'll make this simple without a calculation. Um, return on equity, which we aren't going to focus on in this webinar, return on relationships. And this one is really close to my heart. It's the people stuff, the important stuff. Calculating an ROI. There are a number of considerations for financial ROI. Using PropTech like PayProp as an example, the return on investment would be number one, resource maximization. And this is now not resource saving. As I said, automation is in, about enabling people and people are the cornerstone of the real estate um, business. It's giving people within your organization and yourself the tools to do your best work. And a real estate business of any size can automate um, the, the payments and internal processes. PayProp, as an example, improves resource efficiency by, giving you, uh, by allowing you no need to employ extra resources to manage payments in the rental space. There's really no room for human error, headaches, sleepless nights, or stress, because everything is done automated for you, securely kept within our, our trust environment. Um, PropTech also enables cloud-based to enable remote work or on-the-go work, which we've proved in the last while is, um, is absolutely valuable and a necessity to be able to work wherever we, we need to and wherever we are most efficient. Um, a second benefit or um, factor to consider in terms of um, the um, return on investment of, of PropTech is growth and scalability. Some may say the, the ultimate goal is the money stuff, but um, PropTech frees up capacity to focus on growing the business so that you don't get caught up in tedious, unnecessary um, admin. PropTech is smart enough to handle all those tedious tasks so you can focus on the people stuff, the important stuff, growing the, the business. PropTech enables initial, additional growth without additional admin overheads or additional resources. So if someone gave you, for example, 50 properties to manage tomorrow, would you be able to handle the workload without incurring, the additional, without incurring additional costs? Would you say yes? Would you say no to 50 properties? That's 50 tenants and 50 uh, land, additional landlords to deal with. A third benefit of implementing PropTech um, in the rental space particularly is fee increase. 
For example, mainly commission increase. And this requires reflection. It may be a little bit controversial. Um, but the reflection is what commission percentage do you currently charge? Are you aware of what the average is in your area? How much is your service worth? Can you increase it slowly as you add new properties and renewals? You do hard work, good work. If and at what degree could you increase? The fourth benefit of implementing PropTech is that for a rental book in particular, will help you build a sellable asset. You can sell a brand, maybe a reputation. You can't sell a sales book, but a healthy, strong rental portfolio can serve as a sellable asset for retirement or sooner if you want to get onto to the beach next week. But maybe you won't even want to sell it. Its ongoing ROI might just keep you on the beach or in the bush felt at five minutes a day. Um, so PropTech, helping you to build a sellable asset for retirement. Um, we have a really nice story of a client who's recently implemented um, PayProp to manage their very well-established rental portfolio, um, quite a large portfolio. They were implementing it so that they could retire and pass the, the baton on to someone else. Now that they've seen how easy it is to, to manage with PropTech, they say they might just half retire, spend half of the time on the beach, half of the time on their, their phone approving payments and, and chasing arrears because PropTech really simplifies and takes all of the pains out of um, managing a, a rental portfolio. And the fifth ROI um, in terms of implementing PropTech really in the, the rental space and beyond is, is time, the biggest pain point. We all know time is money. We all know we don't have enough of it in the day. Um, but it is truly the biggest pain point when coming to manage ongoing uh, rentals. There's too much time spent on mundane administrative tasks, time that could be spent to render rather a superior client service to grow the business or, or do what matters, more time with your children out on the soccer field. So we are rental agents in particular losing the most time. Well, manual recording of incoming and outgoing payments, setting up and making payments by hand, sending arrears reminders to tenants individually, inter internal and external reporting and auditing. Um, many of those mundane administrative tasks can be eliminated by PropTech or just simply made more efficient because you can do things on your phone and on the go. And you know, Knowing the ROI absolutely amplifies the contributions to everyone involved, but something we often fail to realize is that a return does not need to be of a financial nature always. Ted Rubin said, and he, he actually coined this term that, that I love, ROR, return on relationships. It is the value accrued by a person or a brand due to nurturing a relationship. ROI the return on investment that I've chatted on is simple, rand and sense. But ROR is the value, both perceived and real, that will accrue over time through connection, trust, loyalty, recommendations, sharing, and staff fulfillment. Unlike ROI, return on investment, you won't be able to calculate return on relationships to the cent, but you can feel the difference in your work, in your life, in your interactions with your um, team and with your clients, landlords and, and tenants. So what does this really mean for everyone involved in, in rental payments? What is PropTech, the benefit of PropTech for everyone involved in, in rental payments? Well, significantly, all three groups are better off and enjoy a better overall experience with PropTech. That's agents, landlords, and tenants. So agents benefit because with PropTech, you can automate the whole collection, reconciliation, banking, and communication process down to just a couple of button presses. But an agent benefits from much more than this. The removal of human error helps to promote the business and not just in saving time. Landlords benefit. The biggest reason for loss of tenants or landlords is the same with any consumer-based industry. Essentially, agents are B2C providers, meaning communication is crucial. And when agents are freed from time-consuming admins through automation, they can use that time gained to provide a more responsive and personal service, build those relationships, those important relationships. And when everything is going smoothly, it has ongoing benefits other than the absolute peace of mind because stress is eliminated and what a perfect world that is. Um, so if you take PayProp for an example, our platform gives landlords peace of mind that their funds are managed professionally and accounted for down to the last cent. Every transaction within PayProp, that is a banking platform, is recorded time and date stamped. 
Um, PropTech such as PayProp offers landlords a professional rental payment platform, providing unmatched visibility for the owners through our free landlord app that can be downloaded from the Play Store or um, the iStore. On PayPro, we allow agents to offer their landlords comprehensive transaction reporting. Complete transparency is truly the cornerstone of, of our business. Because the landlord app is live, it's on the go, it is self-service, landlords can access live balances across damage deposits, landlord maintenance repairs wallets, and rent. This ensures the tenants and the landlord monies are safe and funds are available for repairs. Actions within PayProp are logged for every user. Every click any team member makes on the system is date stamped and recorded so that there can never be confusion as to who did what's on the system. Access to landlord's full owner statements, which automatically will show tenants' position, invoices, and any outstanding payments, in addition to being able to pull annual statements, make tax season a breeze for landlords. Tenants benefit because rent is one of the, is, I would say, the biggest part of your monthly expenses, tenants' monthly expenses, and they need to know that it is safely managed. An automated and transparent rental payment system gives tenants that peace of mind. Again, take PayProp as an example. Tenants received automatically generated statements and SMS reminders of rent due every month. PayProp keeps a record of tenants' payments to provide immediate proof of payment on a permanent record so that nobody need worry. PayProp also holds tenants' deposit in a safe trust deposit account with interest calculated daily and allocated monthly. The bottom of the tenant statement automatically shows the total value of the deposit and all interest earned to date. These are automatically generated from live banking balance at the time of issue, so there can be no, no error. Um, we supply, we enable agents with resources, with tools that they can use in their pitches to gain more landlords and everything is, is documented. So there's so much value in PropTech out there that can enable property practitioners, agents to be more efficient, to offer a good service and to, to grow. We look after and ensure that you are up to date with all the latest and greatest tech so you can focus on that that important stuff, the, the return on, on relationships. And we know that's the, the, the biggest, most important factor when uh, in this, this industry, property industry, it's a people business. Um, so I, I chatted on return on relationships and our prop tech enables and simplifies life so that you can be more efficient to offer a good service so you can focus on the people stuff. But there's another another R. Um, so return on relationships, I said, is closest to my heart. But this next one um, is, of course, everyone's favorite and mine, R and R. <laughs> so I'm not talking about rates. Um, I'm talking about rest and recreation, rest and recuperation, rest and relaxation. Rum and Raisin, Rum and Raspberry, <laughs> Rock and Roll, Ross and Rachel for any of the Netflixes out there. Um, but R&R, &R, however you like to define it, refers to time you spend relaxing when you are not working. PropTech enables you to have more time to do that, to do what is important. And that may just be more time out on the golf course to improve your golf swing. It may be more time with your loved ones, with your friends. It may be additional time growing the business, as I've touched on previously. But that just brings me back to that question that I asked you in the beginning of the webinar. What does it mean to you to get more out of work and more out of life? Since 2004, PayProp has helped thousands of residential rental agents manage their rental payments admin efficiently and accurately while giving their landlords the best possible service. Combining banking, accounting, communication, and portfolio management into one bank integrated platform, PayProp has automated millions of rental payment transactions and administrative tasks, giving rental agents the freedom to focus on their clients, on what is important. PayProp enhances the way a business works, it doesn't change it. PayProp has been built to adapt to an agency's current practices and improve those processes by making them faster, more accurate and efficient. There is the ability to simply add new services, but if an agent just wants to automate their current processes, then we have the flexibility to, to do that as well. But if getting more out of work and more out of life means giving if getting more out of work and more out of life to you means giving back, I'm overjoyed to share my favorite paper of story in closing. Um, most 
corporate companies gain some sort of commercial success and then expand into kind of a social responsibility or some sort of charitable um, endeavors. But paper actually started as a nonprofit. And um, paper start give, give paper up started on the principles of give and gain that was launched back in 2001, um, where paper up is a payment platform for rentals. Simply give and gain is a payment platform, a tool for charities and for fundraisers to raise funds for for nonprofits. And that is actually where paper up the idea of paper up originated from. So since 2001, Give and Gain has enabled donors and fundraisers from 194 countries to support charities in more than 60 countries. So if giving back is something that's on your getting more, getting, um, getting more out of work, getting more out of life, I encourage you to have a look at Give and Gain. You're welcome to load up a cause. Your cause might already be on there. Your internal teams can actually join a fundraising team. Us as a company do internal fundraising really often. It's really fun and you're doing actually something that that matters. So I encourage you to have a look at Give and Gain. Um, if you search paper up about us, you'll be able to see our, our sister company, Give and Gain. Um, but as we enter the next half of 2022, may everyone in attendance take the opportunity to take stock, to see where you are, where you want to be, and what step you can take today to get more out of work and more out of life. Please feel free to reach out to me with any questions. If you'd like to hop on a Zoom call and run on a more detailed ROI on your rental portfolio for paper up users or non-users alike, my email will be available on the screen and at the end of this presentation. I'm happy to chat through any questions you may have on, on email. And thank you. Thank you for joining today. Thank you for your time, for putting this time aside. We know it's precious. I've touched on that today. Thank you for private to private property. I really look forward to the next one. Thanks, everyone. Bye.